Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful infographic using PowerPoint. And please watch this video completely as I will share few important tips and tricks to make it a perfect design. So let's get started. As usual, let's first enable the guides. Then go to insert tab, choose shapes and then draw a circle shape holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. Next right click on this shape and choose format shape and then under fill section increase the transparency to see through. Next again go to insert tab, choose shapes and then draw a rectangle shape as shown. Align this rectangle to center change its fill color to red, increase its transparency and then remove its outline as well. Now using this rectangle shape, we will divide this circle shape into 8 different sections. As we all know, a circle has 360 degrees in it and if it is divided by 8 equal sections, each section will be at 45 degrees. So let's start by duplicating this rectangle shape and then holding down shift key, rotate it by 3 instances to make it a total of 45 degrees. So first will be 15, then it is 30, then it is 45 degrees. Align this rectangle centrally to circle shape and then continue to duplicate it 6 more times and then arrange them at 45 degrees each through center of circle. Next go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape through center as shown. Now drag and select all shapes. Go to shape format and then choose fragment under merge shapes options. With all shapes selected, just deselect our 8 main sections, hold down control key and click on shapes to deselect them. Once done, just press delete key on your keyboard to delete all remaining shapes. Also, delete bottom two shapes as we don't need them for our design. Next drag and select all six shapes and remove their fill color. Apply black color outline and also increase its weight for better visibility. Now next major task. We need to make these edges perfectly rounded. So let's start by duplicating any one section and then zoom it to best possible extent. Apply any fill color. Increase its transparency and then remove its outline. Next go to insert tab and then draw a small circle shape as shown. Remove its outline, change its fill color to any darker shade and then increase its transparency. Now drag and align this circle to the corner as shown and make sure it slightly crosses the outer boundaries. Next drag and place the circle shape on the other corner and again make sure it slightly crosses the outer boundaries. Now drag and select all these three shapes and then fragment them together. Now slightly drag over the corner fragments to select them, drag them aside and then delete them. Follow the same steps to delete small fragments on the other corner as well. Now drag over all remaining fragments and then union them together. Now at this stage, we typically face a problem. If you carefully observe, you will notice some white edges within the shape and they are actually unfilled shapes. So to fill it up, let's apply black color outline 
and the extra projection of the outline you see is something that needs to be removed. So let's right click on the shape and then choose edit points and then delete all these extra edit points. Make sure not to delete any edit points on the shape boundary, just remove the extra points only. Now that's perfectly rounded. Next drag and place this shape over the reference outline shape. That's perfect. Now let's duplicate this shape 5 more times, rotate them by 45 degrees and align them properly over next 5 reference shapes. To speed up the process, you can also group these 3 shapes. Duplicate it, flip it horizontally and then align it properly as shown. Once done, make sure to ungroup all the shapes and also send them to back so that it becomes easy to select the backend outline shapes. Now let's select all 6 reference shapes and drag them aside. Drag over and select all these shapes and then delete them. Now let's create the cut sections at the bottom of each shapes. For that, let's go to insert tab, choose shapes and then draw a circle shape through the center of slide. Next drag over and select all these shapes and then fragment them. Drag out the center fragmented shape and then delete it. Now let's select these shapes in pair and then change their colors using eyedropper tool. Let me speed up to save time. Next select the outer 6 shapes as shown and then apply outer shadow effect. Slightly increase the blur value and that looks perfect. Now let's select all small fragmented shapes one by one and then apply inner shadow effect. Important point to remember, make sure to apply inner shadows in the direction of the shapes else you will not get the required drop shadow effect. That looks perfect. Now drag over and select all the shapes and then increase the outline weight to maybe around 1.5 units. Lastly, we will create a rocket shape at the center of our design. For that, let's go to insert tab and then choose icons. Here search for a rocket PNG icon. Select and then insert it. Rotate and point it towards the vertical guide and then increase its size as per the design requirement. Now let's click on the convert to shape option and that will split this PNG icon into individual shapes. Now select the outer three shapes and change its fill color to red. Select the center shape, format it with two step linear gradient and then change its top colors to light and dark shade of blue color. Also drag and select all rocket shapes, group them together and then apply outer shadow effect with same blur effect. Lastly, apply solid outline with same color and weight. All set. Now add all text fields and PNG icons to finalize this design. So here is the final preview. 
Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Stay tuned for next tutorial.